Again, you welcome to All Light Mass TV. My name remains Jake's Anemo. Here we have a challenge on the board. It's an only paired question. The question reads, x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 equal to 12. What there would be the value or the possible values of x? But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. Because at All Light Mass TV, we release at least a video every day. The day we face to release a video, expect two or more the next day. All right, let's go into today's challenge. We take our solution. Solution. Let's pull down our question. The question reads x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 equal to 12. Good. Now, if you look at this, the number one thing we do is to move this 12 to this side of the equation. Okay, here we have a plus sign and crosses the sign of this equality turns to a minus. So we have this to be you know, minus x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 12 equal to 0. Because we are having here x to the power of 2 and also x to the power of 3, we can rewrite this in favor of the exponent of what we have here now, of these two exponents, okay? We want to write this, bring out two numbers that will be in favor of these two exponents. So if we do that, we can now have this to be s to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3, okay? Then here we're going to have yeah, to be minus 12 can be written as 4 minus 8 equal to 0. Now, minus 4 or 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 and 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. So we now have this to be s to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 equal to 0. Very easy. So we are having... 2 to the power of 2, we are having x to the power of 2. x to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 3. So we can bring this and this together, bring this and this together. Okay? So if we do that, we're going to have this to be x to the power of 2, the minus, here, yeah, 2 to the power of 2, minus x to the power of 3. Bring this together with this, 2 to the power of 3 equal to 0. This is simple. Okay? So we can go ahead and group this, group this. So when I have bracket open, x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2, close bracket, minus bracket open, x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. Okay, close bracket or equal to 0. Okay, very easy. Now, mind you, here we are having a minus sign. So we can use this minus to open up this bracket here. So if we go ahead to do that, we're going to have here to be bracket x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 plus bracket minus bracket s to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus bracket or equal to 0. So let's proceed from here now. If you take a look at this, we have some special algebraic identity playing out already. Now let's cast our mind back and I'll bring out the algebraic identity. Here we have your s to the power of 2 uh, minus y to the power of 2. This is equal to your s uh, plus y close bracket bracket s minus y close bracket. What we have here now is similar to this. The only thing is that in place of y is 2. Then we have the one of s to the power of 3, then plus your y to the power of 3. This is equal to or equivalent to your s, then plus y, close bracket, then bracket, your s squared, then minus your s, s, y, plus y squared, close bracket. Okay, now with this and this, we can use it to analyze what we have in here now. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So putting this in mind, we're going to have our expression here. The first one, this now implies bracket open S plus two close bracket bracket your S minus two close bracket. Okay, then the second one minus we have S the plus two close bracket bracket your S squared the minus your two S plus your two to the power of two close bracket. Okay, so then from here, what we do, you look at this, we are having x plus two here, we're having x plus two here, so we can factor that out. So if we do that, we now have this to be s plus two, to be factored out there into our square bracket. If you use this to divide everything here, you are left with your s minus two close bracket, then minus, if we use this to divide everything here, this will leave and we are left with this. So we now have your bracket open x to the power of 2 minus 2x plus 2 to the power of 2. Close bracket or to our square bracket. Do not forget we have our 0 on the right hand side of the equation. Any confusion so far? No. But before we continue again, if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe and share with your um, uh, friends with your family members that need this knowledge. Okay, let's go back again. Here, we can now open up what we have inside the square bracket now. So if we do that, we will come out with x plus two bracket open, then bracket, you will go to have s minus two, then minus, minus times this plus x square will give us here. Yeah minus x squared minus times minus will give us plus 2s minus times plus will give us minus 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4 close bracket or equal to a 0. Good. So let's work on what we have here now. So we have s plus 2 bracket bracket. Mm. Let's hold, let's bring this minus x to the power of to our first because it's the one with the highest variable. So we have this to be minus s to the power of 2 plus x plus 2s will give us plus 3s. Minus 2 minus 4 will give us minus 6. Close bracket or equal to 0. Okay. At this point, we succumb to um, the zero product rule whereby we equate this to zero, equate this to zero. So if we do that, we're going to have here s plus two equal to zero or minus s to the power of two plus three s minus six equal to zero. Good. Let's erase this. This is our identity. We are done with it. Okay. We look at this again. We don't have problem with this side of the equation. Okay, we only have some little challenges with this other side. So this, we send this to this side to give us here s equal to minus 2. Automatically, we've gotten the first root, okay, to our um, challenge already. So let's give this the first root, x1. This is the first root. We cannot handle this side of the equation. Now, this... We have this to be um, minus x to the power of 2 plus 3s minus 6 equal to 0. We can eliminate this minus 1 attached to this s square by multiplying all through by a minus 1. Okay, and so this will now give us here x to the power of 2 positive minus 3s the plus 6 equal to zero automatically this is a quadratic equation so we solve this quadratically okay now solving this quadratically you discover that um we cannot use the factorization method okay so we succumb to the um, formula method so using the formula method the formula method says that x is equal to your minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus for a c all over 2a 
Again, let's proceed from here. Oh. All right. Now, let's figure out our A, B, and C from this uh, equation here yeah, now. So from here, we have our A equal to the coefficient is 1, the comma, the B is equal to um, minus 3, the uh, C is the constant term, which is 6. Okay, so we cannot go ahead and substitute this into our quadratic formula. So we now have this to be our S equal to minus bracket, our B is minus 3, minus 3, plus bracket, plus minus the square root of what is our B again, minus 3, all to the power of 2, minus 4, dot, what is our A, 1, dot, our C, 6, everything all over 2, dot, 1. So we have our S equal to, here we have positive 3 plus minus the square root of 9 minus 4 multiplied by 1 times 6 will give us 24. Okay. Yeah, everything all over your 2. Here we now have this x equal to 3 plus minus the square root of 9 from 24 will give us minus 15 all over 2. Okay. Yeah. Remember the identity which says that if you have your R, uh, we say that root minus 1 equal to your imaginary number I. So we can split that and bring out this identity here. And so this will now give us X equal to your 3 plus minus the square root of 15 i all over 2. We have two roots here now, so we can split them out. So give us here our s2 equal to your 3 plus root 15 i all over 2, and your s, so s3 equal to 3 minus the square root of 15 i all over 2. Okay, so these are the other two roots. So these are the imaginary roots to this challenge. Imaginary roots. These are the imaginary roots. Now, we can equally check if our answer is correct. If you plug in the first answer, which is minus 2 into our system, minus 2 into our system, you will get the correct answer. But let's check. Our real root will have our s1 equal to minus 2. And our question says, your s to the power of 2 minus s to the power of 3 equal to 12. So wherever we see your s, we put in minus 2. So we have this to be minus 2 all to the power of 2 minus bracket minus 2 all to the power of 3 equal to 12. This will give us positive 4 minus this will give us negative 8 the equal to 12. Here we're going to have here 4 minus times minus will give us plus 8 equal to 12. And 4 plus 8 will give us 12 equal to 12. As simple as A, B, C. Okay, so this marks the end of this only paid mathematical challenge or mathematical problem. I believe you enjoyed the solving. If you have learned something from this survey, drop it in the comment section. Do not forget to hit the like button. And also, do not forget to share with family and friends. Do not forget to also drop a comment. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay? You can say, thanks, Jace, for the work you're doing. Or, I love your ways of teaching. I love your method of explanation. Or, could even be, I don't like the way you teach. I don't like the way you explain things. Okay? Drop it. Okay? So that I can, you know, make changes. All right. Remember, this is all like Mass TV. And my name is Jix Anemo. I love you so much because you are always there. Every one of us at All Like Mass TV love you so much. Bye for now.